Yep. Kind of feel a little bad for that mission I just did. I had the option to gas the the, the uh, lizards to like save, save them, basically, but instead I killed them. I mean, to be fair, they were being experimented on by a corporation. I kind of put them out of their misery. If I, if I gassed them, they would have been used for who knows how much longer. And probably would have died from it anyway. But still, rest in peace, lizard guys. Yeah, I mean, I put them out of their misery. You know, unlike when you rewrote the Geth. And who knows how they're going to suffer internally from that. I mean, yeah, to be fair, I'll probably do the same thing. But I thought you did. Oh, weird, because that that conversation I saw you having in the other stream, but I don't know, made it seem like you, uh, whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I was thinking of something else. Sorry. I was, I'm watching like four different people play through the Mass Effect series. I'm getting all of them mixed up. Oh, I'm so slow. Got to sell something. Or I can just do that. Uh, do I want to equip anything new? I don't think so. Although that thing's kind of cool. Got an, I got an Inferno Scythe. Uh, how about some? How about some new gear? Got anything good? Nope, doesn't look like it. All right. You're still around. Yeah, unfortunately. Annie Cleo makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Yeah, I got the... Yeah, it's, it's a glowing red scythe. Not very subtle. He ran into a, a fight with that. Hmm. All right, time to sell everything. Sell, sell, sell. Mm, yeah, sell. Sell, keep that. Sell, sell, sell. Ooh, I didn't even notice I got that. Kind of low level, though. Yeah, you can tell this game, that's how they do old people, is they kind of just take, like, the young character and just put wrinkles on their face, like it's some kind of, like, weird prosthetic. It, hey, it's the future. I, I don't know what that means, but it's the future. I'm going to keep that just in case. Get rid of that since it's low leveled. Also low leveled. Decent level. Um, No. Oh, I have two of these. Level 11 and level 11. Well. Medium. Ooh, medium sneak. Hmm. Uh, that's good for now. But before I forget sell all of this stuff except for that and then well I'm gonna keep a few stacks of things so I can actually make my uh, healing stuff better something I keep not doing nope no 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 don't you do that uh what's the good ones out of this here uh oh no good keep that Mmm, doesn't this actually sound like a good cereal? In this world, all of this stuff is supposed to just sound like all corporation-y and terrible. I wouldn't mind something called Purpleberry Crunch. Sounds good. Although it could be because I love cereal and haven't had cereal in seven months, stupid keto diet. I used to eat, cere I used to eat cereal for dinner without milk. I'm edgy. There we go. And also going to sell... 
Oh no, I love cereal and milk. It's just like sometimes I'd be lazy and just grab a box of cereal. <laughs> there were nights where I would just eat like an entire box of cereal for a meal. <laughs> That's how I am though. I would eat a box of Cheez-Its for a meal too. Oh, I miss Cheez-Its. What's my weight at? One, 107 still? What is weighing me down so much? I feel like I don't even have that much on me. Weird. Heavy armor. No, that's that's medium armor. I I, I purposely get rid of my heavy armor because it's not worth the weight cost. Oh, that one's heavy. In fact, Felix, what you got on right now? The the same thing, except worse. Okay. How about Vicar Max? What you got? 34. Do that. And then get rid of it. Oh, yeah. I saw that in the uh, the Discord. Your emotes got approved. Oh, yeah, that means I have them, too. Yay. I think. Oh, and I have all three of that of that st of those things, don't I? I do. So basically, I was sent to this planet. There were three secrets from this corporation. I can go back to the Groundbreaker ship and sell all three of them for money because I need ten thousand bits to be able to go to the next planet. Although one of the things I got was a schematic for a pistol. I think I might turn that in. It sounds like the game would give me a free, like, good pistol, maybe. And then I'll turn the other two in because I don't care about the corporations. Although I'm sure they'll pay me too. I don't no. I want to I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn in the gun. Because it sounds like I'd probably get a gun out of it. And I'm gonna turn the other two in at the ship. Uh, why do you seem familiar? Have we met? Yeah, you asked me to grab your prototype schematic from storage. Ah, yes. Very good. And have you done that? Got it right here. What a relief. You hold months of work in your hands. I'm not gonna... I don't care if it's contraband. Here, here. Now... I'll just attach this here, a bit of glue, a little elbow grease. Voila, I can finally call this little side project complete. Thank the law. Oh, hmm, I can't be caught with this. You take it. If R&D buys the schematics from me, perhaps I'll get you the first model, hot off the presses. I'll, uh, call you? Yes, I'll call you. Ooh, I got a level. And I think I just got a new gun. Yes, I did. It's plasma. Unfortunately. Because I already have a plasma gun. But you know what? Not bad. It's it's unique. Alright. And I got another level up. Time to uh, put some more skills and stuff. Like I said, I'm going to leave melee alone. Ranged is good for now. Although I would like that 60 eventually. Not doing defense. Uh, could do dialogue. I'm still going to do some stealth. And I'm going to do some leadership. I want to get to 60 as fast as possible so I can get those skills. Um, Nothing's really close to getting another thing, is it? You know what? Do that. I want to get my lockpick and my uh, inspiration up as fast as possible. But yeah. I know my other stats are going to suffer, but if I get more skills from people, it won't matter. Like, I'm already getting a decent bonus already. Ooh, and they get stuff too. Okay. I can finish this off. You know, from what I've read and what I've seen, some of these abilities aren't great, but I just like the fact that they're, they're, they're different. You know, these, these three for each person, are special only for them. Like that, I don't care about science weapon damage. But it's their 
unique thing, so I'm going to finish it off. Some are better than others. Like, Felix's is uh, damage to corporate military. That's not bad, considering I'm going to be fighting them a lot. All right, what am I doing now? I'm not giving them their stuff back. Uh, that's fine. I'm not giving him his stuff back either. I think I might actually be done here. I mean, there might be like something out in the wilderness that I didn't find, but again, I have to accept the fact that I'm not going for 100% playthrough. I'm just playing the game for the first time. If I play the game like I do normally, I would spend like 50 hours in this thing. I, as much as I would love to do that, I kind of want to, you know, move on a little faster than that. But I mean, I, I think I went everywhere. Yeah, I kind of have like two different personalities here. I kind of want to play the way I play, but by myself, I play a different way. I'm very tedious. I make sure I do everything. Not exactly fun to watch. So I'm kind of like compromising. Especially with games I've played before. I know what I'm going after and what I'm not. Huh? Oh, I am alert and awake. Not to worry. I take our ship's security highly seriously. Thank you, Ada. I've come to rely on you. You know, since I can't fly the ship for some reason. I That is one thing I don't like. I wish I could fly the ship around. I know, that's, I know that it's not a very... Big deal. It's just, I like space travel stuff. All right, to the ground baker, baker. Yes, it's a cafeteria ship. The ground breaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Woohoo. Bye, ship. Oh, you guys match. How cute. Like Ashley and Caden in my Mass Effect playthrough. And the load times are so much better on the PC version. All right. I have returned with stuff to sell on the black market. Corporation's not going to like me very much after doing this. Uh, I think it's this way. Yeah. Why do I always do that? Hello, I bring stuff. Gracious, I was just sitting down for tea. Oh, I have enough money now. I didn't even notice that. But I investigated that distress signal on Roseway. What's that? Speak up now. And those secrets you asked me to look for. I got some stuff. What'd you turn up? What? What? Well, I found a prototype weapon, but I lost it. Bless your slippery little fingers. Isn't that just a shame? Prototype schematics go for a fair handful of bits around here. Yeah, but I got a gun that way. I required some research on Raptodon Musk. You interested? Pardon me, sweetheart. My old ears must have misheard you. Did you say Raptodon? Gracious. Someone must have hauled them off Monarch. Naughty, naughty. A couple of folks around here might pay a fair few bits for this. Might even be able to start a bidding war. Well, good. I need money. Yeah, it is. It's. It, it almost looks like there's something about it. I can't, like, quite explain it. It reminds me of something, but I don't know what. I Actually, um, Emperor Palpatine in Episode 3 kind of has similar stuff, doesn't he? He has like those rolls. I think that's what it kind of reminds me of a bit. Um, well, I could tell her the truth that I found some fancy toothpaste. Or I could lie in science and say I found rocket fuel. I'd probably get more out of it that way. I'm going to do it. My stars, what a find. Fine picking like this deserves an equally fine payout. Go on, dearie, and don't spend it all in one place. 
Oh, I can't do it. My persuasion's not good enough. Ah, well. Are you positive? Honest to goodness? Can't say I wasn't hoping for more, but... I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit anytime. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Now you're gonna do some lurking. Yay. Now the question is, do I have to go back and tell those people that I fit? Nope. I just never go back. Okay. I just never set foot back on back in back on that planet in that town and just never tell them that I sold their stuff. I never have to go back. So I can go to Monarch now. It's almost time for today's episode of the Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a dear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? Nah, I'm good. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Yep. See ya. So now I unlocked the next planet. Hey boss, if you need a tour guide, I've seen all 12 episodes of Terror on Monarch. Kind of an expert. Monarch is a wretched hive of terrorism and anarchy. We'd best top off our ammo stock before we leave. Ooh. Nope, oh, that's the bathroom. That's not the way out. This is Halcyon Reef. Yep, I got the nav key. I can go to Monarch. We, we're going to Monarch for... It's been so long since I checked. What am, why am I going to Monarch? Um, why, why am I going to Monarch? I, I don't know. Uh, okay. It says... Oh, oh that's right, the chemical. The chemical's on Monarch, I think. God, I don't even, I will say as much as I'm liking this game, the main story isn't the strongest part of the game, but I'm, I mean, I'm still enjoying it. It's just like with mass, a game like Mass Effect, I keep going back to that, by the way, it's an, I mean, it's a sci-fi RPG. I, I, I knew the story the entire time. I was just like, what's going to happen next kind of thing. But this, it's like, I need chemicals. Cool. But also you can shape this a little more too, I think. Like I could, I'm pretty sure, I, I'm assuming that you could do like a full corporate run. I could have turned in Finniness like the first chance I got. So I'm kind of looking forward to playing this through again as like a, just a jackass thief liar guy and just turn Finneas in the first chance I get for money. It'd be fun. Two Monarch. Oh yeah, I could have landed here too. I kind of, oh, wow, I just thought of that. I had to spend 10,000 bits getting a key to land at the safe one. But what if I landed at the dangerous one and was good enough to fight everything off? I wonder, it's on the same planet. I wonder if I could have saved 10,000 bits there. Eh, oh well. Message from Dr. Wells. We'd like to congratulate you on finding a route to Monarch. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Sounds like you've been here. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? Yeah, hotbed of political activity sounds like fun. 
I certainly wouldn't call it boring, especially if your idea of fun involves navigating a hostile biosphere populated by carnivorous monsters. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Neoka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Also, I was going to point this out before I just kept forgetting. When you talk to Ada, I love how she has like different reaction faces, even though she's just kind of like a static image. That surprise one of the angry one. I like how when someone's on the like the thing here, like Phineas right now, her eyes are looking up at him. It's just a very subtle difference. And then when you're done, she like looks back at you. But I got some questions. Come see me in my lab. I'll answer any questions you have. All right, well, then. bye. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Captain, an unusual wavelength is coming through Monarch's Aether Wave frequencies. The Eternal is in us all. The OSI would have you believe that your place in society, indeed in the universe, is preordained. A man who works in the mines of Hephaestus, coating his lungs in mercury dust for naught but a few bits a night, this fate is set in stone? When he dies young, coughing up black blood, his part in a grand plan? No, I say. Greatness is in everyone. Not just those so fortunate as to have been born into prosperity. That was unexpected and odd. Yeah, what was that? Analyzing the subtextual ordering. I believe it was a type of sermon, Captain. Very... Zealous in origin. Sounds like it. So, there are two religions in this game. Uh, Max is like the scientist one, where everything is predetermined by the universe. Everything was set in motion. That's how it is. There's a pattern to everything. Then you have the philosoph uh, philosophy guys, which that guy sounds like one, where everything's chaotic. It's completely random and nothing is set in stone. You can do whatever you want, basically. Huh. You think I could hire myself out to ships in need someday? Be my own mechanic, like how Ellie's her own doctor? I wonder sometimes. Nope, oh, bye. <laughs> how much money do I have left after I had to spend 10,000? Oh, that's not good. Not, not not great. All right. Actually, you know what? Before I start a new planet, that might take forever. I am going to head back to Edgewater. Because M, uh, I had a change of heart about the possibility of um, thievery. So, yeah. Now, both these two have lockpick. They have a lot of overlap. Like, when you get more... Like, when uh, both these people have persuade and lockpick. Once I get enough points and get that 100% increase in skill, like, abilities from them, or points, I will only need one of them. But since I'm going to town to steal everything and get some more resources and money, I'm going to take both of them. The higher my lockpick is, the better chance I have. Meaning I need to use less of the uh, lockpick things, space lockpicks. I might even have too much lockpick right now. Let me take a look. Wow, I kind of expected a lot more lockpick. Wait a minute, why do I only have 57? Wow, even with both of them, I only have 57? Damn. Yeah, I'm only getting 13 and 12. Do I have anything to increase that? Stealth skills? Nope, I don't. 
Although I think I might do this and see what it increases. So it's 57, right? 57. This is probably only to get me an extra two. Yeah, an extra two. That's not really worth it. So back to your goggles. Oh, but that this costs zero. That's nice. So yeah, I'm gonna ransack this town um, for the next for the last hour of my stream. Great work. That's right. Shh. We've entered the sneaky portion of this stream. I am not a sneaky person. I am terrible at it, actually. Ooh. What do you think you're doing? Yes, I get caught immediately. <laughs> I'm just leaving. Just don't make more paperwork than you. And I'm going to reload. Uh, because if you get caught stealing, even if you use something to get out of it, it still hurts the reputation. Now, where was that guy? It, but, but, oh, he was right there. I am the worst thief ever. Get, get out of here. Leave. Um, just to, so I don't get caught very easily, I'm going to smash the button. If I'm in a, a place that I know there's no one else, I'll take a look. Basically, I'm going to go through this town. I'm going to steal as much as I can. I'm going to go back to my ship, take a look at my mods on my weapons, and then I'll call it a screen. I think it'll be nice and relaxing. Just stealing stuff. Gotcha. And yeah. And since there's shops here, I can literally just sell the stuff. I originally thought we might have to deal with fencing. Like, oh no, this item's stolen. I can't sell it. They don't care. Aha. Gonna take all the stuff. Nope. Um, eh, okay. That was quick. Where is he? away standard troop helmet science science plus three go get out of here you know do i have anything that increases my stealth because of you know stuff will give me better stuff than my teammate yeah the bad, bad words i like how my character is based on talking and i can't speak uh, dialogue skill. <laughs> Too bad that isn't real life. Oh, sneak plus seven. That could help a little bit. And plus five lockpick. That could also potentially help. Thing is, this only gives me seven in sneak, not sneak skills. I'm going to put that on. And you know what? I'll do this too. We're in sneak mode. Uh, I think it's my lockpick of 62. That could give me an extra thing. You don't get the extra bonuses unless you have that skill. But that could actually lower how many, how many things I need for certain ones. Would you go away? Stop. Stop watching me. He's just going to sit here, isn't he? <laughs> go away. I'm trustworthy. I want these right here so I can get more stuff. Go away. Get, mm, if I was playing a certain type of game, I would just... It wouldn't be hard. Just... Mm. All right. I think we successfully, successfully burgled. Oh, no. There's still one more thing left. Burgle. Warehouse burgled. I'm also going to pick this when he's not looking so I can get a little extra XP. You're such a good guard. Good job. Great work. Huzzah. All right, what else can I steal? 
Oh, remember this guy? This is the guy's place that likes the, that hates the robots. Aha! Take everything I can before he, before he opens the door. Go away. I didn't take nothing. The robots did it. <laughs> I'll just pin it on the robots and everything will be fine. Going back in, shut the door. My teammates will probably open it back up. Yes, they did. Thank you, guys. Hey, you got it open. And looks like this is cleared out. Yeah, this is why on the Xbox I have so many more resources. By stealing stuff, you get so much extra money and just stuff. I should have been doing this the entire time. I'm not going to go back to every single little place, like outside the town. I'm just going to go in the town. But from now on, I'm taking everything. All right. What can I steal? Oh, yeah. This town, this town is messed up, isn't it? Oh, that's right. I took the power away from the town. <laughs> Oh, kind of still feel bad about that. There's nothing. He Wait a minute. There's nothing here. Why is there nothing to steal? Did. Did, did I just like not get to steal anything because the town is dead and they took all their stuff with them? Is that how this is working? And all the shops are gone, too. Um, Might have missed my opportunity to steal everything. Well, no, there's still stuff in here. Or not. What the? Wow. I, I mean, I could be stupid here, but... I might have now missed out on stealing because, I mean, there's still going to be some items, but I feel like there'd be more items around town. Well, feels bad. Ooh, not stealing that, though. Well, crap. Yeah, everything's closed. Like, well, that, well, a couple of places are closed. Don't mind me, I'm just jumping through your town. Yeah, there's nothing here. There's no way there wouldn't be, like, random items in this area. Wow. I kind of want to find out if this is a thing. Where if you, if you make the town basically fail, are there just no more items around? Well, this place is closed too. Welp, I think I missed my opportunity. I mean, I'll, I'll take what I can get. Well, this sucks. I was going to go through and steal everything, but now... Again, I could just be overestimating how much this town had, but I feel like there should be more random stuff. Where's the general store? There's... Yep, yep, yep. I think I uh, missed that opportunity. Oh, well, not a big deal. Although that does mean I can go to the town that still exists. By the way, I did this differently on Xbox. Um, Apparently, you can have both of them work together. <laughs> Oops. Now, hey, I saved your town. That means I'm stealing from you. That's right. Leave. And then, guys, please. 
Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry, providing. Yeah, give me all your stuff. Oh, now this is okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to steal this. Like, when would I ever be? I guess when if you just kill people. That's right. Lee. Ooh, that's what I'm targeting right there. That is the, uh, the lockpick stuff. I want more of them. I think I have a problem now. My, char my character has a new flaw. Oh, there's Zoe again. Huh? Hey, I say I saved your town. Remember? Give me free stuff. They don't have a lot, do they? Yeah, I think a corporate town would be much more lucrative to steal from than a bunch of, uh, well, whatever you want to call these guys. Anything else? Well, 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 doop, 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 doop. I think I just made them hate me some. You know what? Fine. Hate me. Whoops. How much did that go down? Oh, it gave me 2%. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to steal, steal from you again right in front of you. How about that? Hey. Oh, all right. <laughs> Who else can I steal from? Not a lot of places here. But no, it's okay. Like I from now on I will just take whatever I find. I won't have to I'm not gonna backtrack. Hello. Could you please leave while I do this? One heal. Yeah, these people have nothing. Anyone home? No? Okay. Pardon me. Ooh. Wow, you got that? Do 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 taking all the stuff. Yeah, this is why stealing is awesome in this game. Unless you get caught, there are no downsides. And you just get so much more stuff. Like, even just bullets. Okay. Um. Uh, honestly, I think that's good for now. This planet doesn't have that much. Well, at least this area doesn't have that much on it. In it. In it on it. All right, shut up, stomach. I haven't eaten yet today. My stomach won't shut up. I assure you, I am not capable of such emotional capacity. All right, and actually, I'm stupid because I should have sold my stuff there because they like me. I would have gotten more for it. For it. Yep, going back. Again, luckily, the load times in this game are much better on the PC. I'm going back here. I'm going to sell my stuff. I'm going to go back to the ship. I'm going to have fun with some of the mods. Uh, make my weapons better. And then I'll head to Monarch. And since the stealing didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would, I will continue to play a bit. My voice hasn't given out on me yet, which is nice. But I don't want to overdo it, do I? So, 
uh, when this game came out on Thursday, I streamed for six hours straight. And then the next day, I streamed for three hours, took an hour break, and then streamed for five hours. That's 14 hours in two days. That's why my voice completely died. I don't want to overdo it. Now, question is, where is the store here? Is there a store? I don't think there is one here. Uh, there's no store here, is there? They like me, and I can't sell to them. And the other guys have no store. Well, this is a... Uh, oh, no, this guy's a store, isn't he? Why does he doesn't show on the map as one? Zoe says she fought her way out of a marauder camp with her own bare hands. Yeah, she's full of crap. Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. Weird. He didn't show up as a as a guy that I can sell to. Oh well. Uh, I need money. Uh, yep. Nope, don't sell that. Oh, look at that. Look at those colors. I don't need signs, though. And that's it, but I can also sell all this stuff. And... Didn't make a lot, did I? Oh, my... My weapon's just dripping everywhere. Ugh. There was something else I was going to do. Oh, I remember what it was. I was going to set these. Whip. And use that first. This basically means that when I use my inhaler, I use a heal thing, but I also use wrapped on meat and pasta. Mmm. Spaghetti and reptile balls. Mmm. All right. God, speaking of stuff I miss eating, pasta. I lived off ramen noodles for years. I'm sure that didn't take off years of my life with all that salt intake. But yeah, time for mods. I'm going to take all the mods. Done. I have that thing where when I break down weapons and armor, I have a chance to get a mod, which helps a lot when you're getting mods. Is there anything I want to store? Honestly, this thing is already kind of bad. And it has no mod slots. But I, I'm, I'm going to keep it. Uh, same thing with this. Any, like, special weapon like this, I'm just going to keep. And I think that's it because I'm equipping that thing. Speaking of which, equip and equip. <laughs> I just, I, God, his blank stare looking at his weapon is kind of creepy looking. Caution, unexpected turbulence may... Uh, and modify, what can I do? I kind of want to use this instead of this. Like, it's not great level-wise. This is level 19. This is level 11. But I kind of want a long-range weapon. 68. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Even though it's lower level, it's just precision damage. I want it. I would use this as well instead of this pistol, but this is such higher level and it uses light, which nothing else I have does. So if this used light, even though it's called a light assault rifle, I would use it. To topple from the All right. Tinker time. 
level this up some. Good. How about my armor? Yep, level that up some. Yeah, my money is on Xbox and like I'm not I'm not this far. And I still have way more money. Is <laughs> hey, stealing is profitable. Lesson of the day. In video games. I think I saved that. Don't steal stuff. Okay. Um Time to install some mods. I don't think I have anything great, but I'm gonna see what I got. Shock, plasma, magazine size. Now it's already a plasma. Here's the thing. This is already a plasma weapon. For free. It doesn't take up a mod slot. It's a plasma weapon. If I make it a shock weapon, it'll make it a shock weapon, which is interesting. But it takes up a mod slot and it gets rid of the plasma. As far as I know, because like right now, see how it doesn't say like what type it is over there? And this says shock. But if you go to it, it says type plasma. So by having a weapon be a certain type already, it saves on the mod slot. So that's going to stay plasma. And I'm going to give it magazine size. Because why not? And then we have weapon spread, which I don't think would matter on a long rifle. See how it goes from 0.16 degrees to 0 0.05. I don't think that really matters for this kind of weapon. But I also don't want to give it a sight. I'll have one weapon with a sight. I don't want that. So nothing for this. Now this already has a sight on it. And it's actually a good one. It gives a uh, post armor damage dealt uh, plus 15%. That's not bad. I could give it a time six zoom. Um, I tried this on the Xbox version. It's it is such a it's a sniper rifle. It's a ridiculous zoom. I kind of don't want that. I'd rather just keep that on it. But I am going to make this. I'm tempted to make this a shock weapon. I don't need. I already have plasma. Uh. I could do that. Or I can make my pistol the shock weapon. I did. I want a shock weapon. Somewhere. And the pistol might be the better bet. Because it'll have more of a purpose. The rifle will be good against a lot of stuff. This could be like my anti-robot uh, weapon. Make it good against something. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I put a silencer on it. But I'm not very... Well, technically my character is pretty sneaky, but I'm not, I'm not sneaky. But I think I'd rather do crit damage, which is amazing. Yeah, crit damage. And I will not be giving it a sight. And that also does nothing. So. Good. My blade is going to have... You know what? I don't use it very often. And there's probably better ones out there. Like the one that she has. But I'm going to have a ton of these when the game's done. So I would assume... Uh, I'm going to give it attack speed. And I'm also going to give it not that. And also not that. <laughs> yeah, screw it. I already, I had that unlocked because I have 20 in it. That's as high as it's going to go, so. And the rifle gets nothing, fortunately. I'm going to save my magazine size. How about armor? Oh yeah, the one that I'm wearing, I think might not be able to do that. Yeah, it's a special armor. I don't think I can change the stuff in it. But I kind of want to put mods in my armor. But I have nothing else to give them. Well, actually, is there anything I can take off you guys? I got, I got fancy streetwear plus five tech skill. Uh, Felix, you have the heavy armor on. No help there. 
Vani, you have a light. Well, eh. You know what? Let's see what I look like in fancy streetwear. I mean, I'll take tech skill. I'd rather have the persuasion, but I'll take tech skill as well. So you're going to wear... Mm. Pfft. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, look at me. I'm all fancy. And it's actually, but I, I, what am I doing? This doesn't have mod slots either. <laughs> I am so smart. I am so smart. So I'm going to wait on that. I'm going to wait until I get some armor that's decent and then put mods in it. I can't do it with this. And nothing else I really want to waste mods on. Yeah. For now, this is okay. If you are crushed to death, I'll need to find a new captain. I forgot she was talking. Out of context, it sounded weird. All right, two monarch away. We're now in orbit of a stellar bay, Captain. Yeah, I won't be screaming too much longer, but I'll get a little bit of dialogue in. You know, look around the town. Um, I'm still in steel mode. And until, until I get better stats on myself and my characters, I kind of want to double up on persuade and lockpick. I'll miss out on hacking, but you know what? I'm going to do it. Plus, I think Parvati, uh, Parvati and uh, Felix will get along well. Max is kind of a dick. And Ellie kind of looks out for herself. So, yeah, I think these two are fun. So what do we heard about this place? That you're not supposed to go there. The corporations say that it is a cesspool. Dangerous. Is it propaganda? Let's find out. Hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? Uh. Well, none of these are really. Okay, well, you seem surprised. You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's always three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. Yeah, I can see that. So this planet is basically quarantined. Um, They deemed it. You just like, you can't go there. It probably You probably break their law just coming here. And apparently they also blockade it. Um, yeah, what are they doing there? You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-world traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing. So, here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay. Home of the freshest Saltuna and Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. I am Captain Wes Shepard. Well, there's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. Rex. Oh, damn. My voice is kind of shot right now. I can't even do it anymore. Like, I can't make my voice go that deep. Mm. Shepard. Um, sorry, I got, I got, I got super distracted by that. I was like, now I'm thinking about that scene. Okay. Yeah, you're not what I expected to find a monarch. I was expecting like literally to have to fight off some pirates as soon as I got here. This guy's nice. Oh, that'll just make Mr. Sanjar's day if you tell him. The board makes up lots of nasty stories about raptodons and cannibals and whatnot. But that's all outside our walls. Mostly. Did he just say raptodons and cannibals? I can't wait. 
Felix knows what a good time is, I guess. You know, lizards and cannibals. Hmm. Uh, are you saying the board's been lying about this place? That is that a that's not a big surprise, but. Oh sure, it makes Stellar Bay sound like a rotten place, but it's not so bad. Get a good breeze going, and the sulfur smell mostly covers up the fishy smell. Anyway, Mr. Sanjar's got lots to say on that subject. Kinda goes over my head, though. Is Stellar Bay really that isolated? I mean, if the corporations don't want anyone coming here, probably. We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. Oh, there's that cereal again. Mmm. Yeah, when I get off keto, first thing I'm doing, I think, is going to have a nice big bowl of cereal. A sandwich. Some pasta. Everything. All right, well, I'm going to have a look around the town. Mr. Sandra, I'll be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? Uh, it depends. I got this Rizzo's Rangers Toswell poster coming in on the next sublight shipment, signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Uh, who's, who's the Black Hole? Boss, come on. Black Hole Birdie, the Hole Meister. The hack attack. That's Bertie Holcomb. Only one of the greatest Tossball hackers ever. I wonder if he's kin. Dad had family that worked for Rizzo's. I never got to meet them. Everyone's heard of him, even on Monarch. We still get some of the games. You've been living in a sulfur pit or something? <laughs> Actually, I've been in hibernation for decades, but I'm not going to say that. Why is he called the Black Hole? Interesting nickname. On account of him being the best hacker who ever played, nothing gets by him. He sucks up every ball that comes his way. <sighs> Maybe word that differently. Well, Holcomb's had a lot of nicknames over his career. Used to be the tallywhacker on account of what he'd do to the score. Before that, he was the slick stick because the shots were always so smooth. You're... You're making this up. Those are really stupid names. I swear I'm not. At the start of his career, people called him the hack boss, but no one thought that was very catchy. Well, uh, this poster sounds pretty valuable. I need, I do need money. I couldn't really say. I'm just a fan of the game. But the fancy collector types say the more people see these things, the less valuable they are. And I figure my poster's been passed around by more than a few people by now. Uh, yeah, I can look for it. Thanks a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. See, I'm, I have to be really careful not my character doesn't turn into that. I need money because of game mechanics. My care, like, I, I, I don't like playing the thieving guy. Like, I want to play through this at some point again after I'm done with this as, like, a jackass thievery guy who steals from people just like kills people like I'm like full corporate that's gonna think it's gonna be fun but I still like money <laughs> who doesn't like money you need money to buy things it's always why I wondered in Mass Effect why why don't specters get paid they're expected to like uh um uh Morden talks about this in Mass Effect 2 I think when he mentions uh specters are based on the Solarian like special task force and he mentions that the special task force was better equipped because they also didn't have to buy their own stuff. That made perfect sense to me. Like, why do specters have to buy their own stuff? All right, where am I going? Got a nice little town here. Let's get to know a few people. What are the chances of all the times and places you could have been born? Yeah. Howdy, barkeep. Well, well. Isn't often we see new folk in Stellar Bay. First drinks on me, stranger. Oh, well, thanks. Nice mustache, by the way. Enjoy. 
If you plan on sitting through Nioka's stories, you might could use a few. I could use a few and telling them myself. Now what can I do for you? Uh, how old do you know her? Anyone who spends any amount of time in this bar is bound to get to know Nioka. On account of her being here so often herself. And I don't mean that unkindly. Anyone who's rid us of as many beasts as you have is entitled to a few drinks. Something else I can do for you? Oh, you said you're not used to seeing new faces around here. Not since Amber Heights. These days we have more leaving than coming. Off to join the Iconoclasts or some such. So why is this place called, place called the Yacht Club? Thought it had a fancy ring to it. Name's the first advertising anyone sees, after all. Eh, that's pretty true. But are there any yachts in Stellar Bay? I mean, it has it had the word it has the word bay in it, so I, I kind of get what he was going for. Nope, but a man can dream. All right, what do you got? Beer. He's got he's got the alcohol. He's got the liquor. I should have expected that. Um, and I just sold all my stuff, so I don't have anything to sell. Well, I'm gonna sell him. I'm gonna sell him the beer. Well, it's an ale uh, that he just gave me. It's like here's a free drink. I'd like this. I'd like to sell this to you, please. Well, look at that. I just made three bucks. Oh, I still have all the mods on me. Crap. Hey, hey, Nioka. This is the person we, uh, we've come to meet. And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood. So it's, it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the, tell the blood from the mud. I'll keep listening. I want to know where this is going. But I got to get in there. Get right in that baby rap stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I'd... Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn rapt out there. Right. What are you staring... Wait. Who are you from around here? Who are you? Uh, I'm Wes Shepard. Pleased to meet you. Ooh, charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? Uh, I'll stay in chat, but I think you've had enough. Another in a long line of damn fools trying to cut me off. I'll buy my own poison then. What are you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? I was told you can help me find an information broker. You know, it's kind of like a, a guy, a guy, a guy that has information that likes to broker stuff and he hides in the shadows, you know, something, something like a, a, a shadow broker of sorts. <clears throat> well, 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 let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass Wait, that ain't it. Brass rats? Let's let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. Uh, you know what? Sure, what do you need? Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or... Caffeine something? Pills. They're very good. I'm cut off for the month, on account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. I uh, need to get your drugs, huh? All right. You mean caffeinoid. It's just a stimulant. Well, they work. We got a deal or what? Uh, okay. Woohoo! Level up. Na 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 na. I'm looking at my blade again. <laughs> All right. 
So again, I want to get the 60 in inspiration as fast as possible. So do, 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 do. once I get that to 60, I'm never putting another point in leadership again. Because if you think about it, uh, all your teammates get skills up too, like over time, I think. I mean, they, they have to increase somehow. I think it's just like a set thing. And this goes, this makes it go from 25% to 50%. So by putting about 30 points into leadership, I'm going to get way more than 30 points out of it because I'm getting 50% of like, I mean, if you look at, well, actually, I still have five points left, okay. If you look at this, that he gives me 51, 47, 50. She gives me 44, 54, 58. I only get 25% right now. If I got half of that, each, on average, each one of those stats would give me about 25 points. I would get about 25 points in six stats. Could be the same, could be different stats. They stack. And all, I, all it took was like 35 points in leadership. I'll definitely do that. In fact, I'm going to do that so I get the 20% uh, armor rating. And then I'm going to do one. So my lockpick is back to 60 with this group. And then, you know what? Boop, boop. I mean, this is still a good stat. Um, I actually, I, I looked up a few builds uh, just to see what I would use on the Xbox version. There are builds for leadership. Like there are builds that are like pure talking and leadership. Because this makes your companions do more damage. And this gives your companions health. I actually saw a build that sounds fun. Where you just put everything in there. Like when you do, uh, when you do this, they put, uh, temperament. Actually, what, no, what was the stat? I mean, they're both good. Yeah. Inspiration and determination. Uh, determination is this one. Inspiration is calm. Determination is there. They basically cranked up all the ones that dealt with that and just, they literally were just like a Pokemon trainer. They had all the skills for skill checks and they just let their teammates do everything. So it's not a, that's why uh, my teammates are already better on my Xbox version because I was, because I cranked like all my points into this and made my build more of that. And I still have five points because I didn't save. Well, look at that. Uh, You know what? One point in stealth. That's what I had before. And now for a new perk. Oh, uh, what do I want? Vendor buying prices. That could be good in the long run. Ooh. 40 kilogram carrying bonus from companions. Not bad. That's only for consumables and I sell most of mine. Uh, ooh, what do I want? Could do running gun. I do shoot more than I melee. In fact, I'm st I'm kind of regretting putting melee up to good and not keeping it at average. I, you won't see me melee that often. Unless I make a pure melee build, I only have a melee weapon to block and if anything's in my face instead of using a shotgun. Now that's pretty good. And that's good for melee and long range. You know, I'm gonna do that. More, uh, more slow down. Good for people that can't aim like me. And I forgot to give Parvati her one, so she gets 25% tactical time dilation meter. Ooh, when she performs her ability, recharge some of your meter. Eh. Again, some of these aren't great, but they're unique. I want to give it to him. All right, I need to get her some drugs. I can also look around the town a bit. Hmm. Go there, go there. Well, my next stop is the building in the middle here, so. Actually, hold on. You guys gonna kill me if I go in here? Nope, okay. Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Hello. Well, new business turns up at last. 
Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? He's often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. Moistening the loins, huh? It just mean, does this guy have like a, a bit of a sleazy scumbagness to him? <laughs> a little bit. Okay, but no, that's that's very generous that, you know, I, okay. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self-review? Very generous. Noted. But not so generous I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? Uh, no, I'm looking for an information broker. I'm just going to be honest with him. Hiram? Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. But if you're here for him, I suppose that means you aren't here for Saltuna. Uh, afraid not. Oh, shame. I'd been saving a bottle of iceberg aged whiskey for an occasion like this. Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments. Now, I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but... It seems we're back to the drawing board. Yeah, if you're free from other corporations, why would you want to bring them back? Isn't the whole point to be free? Because he's scared to go it alone. You need the board to hold your hand and tell you everything's going to be okay. Ain't that right? Surviving alone isn't as easy as it looks. Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. Now, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Hmm. Yeah, it makes, I mean, it makes sense. I mean, when you're part of the board, you have to deal with all their corporate BS, but at least you get resources. Being by themselves, they're getting nothing. It is hard to be self-sufficient. Yeah, but it does sound like you're freer than anyone in Halcyon. Embrace it. Enjoy it. You talk like Graham. Can't imagine why you'd sneer at the notion of a free colony. Could it be because you're an agent of the establishment? I used to be young and idealistic too, but you can't run a city on high-minded ideals. That is a good point. Indeed. Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. Are you out of your mind? You can't just go crawling back to your old masters. Well, we can't continue to subsist like this either. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. Oh, yeah, she, this, uh, she knows what she's talking about. It's true, our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Okay, but how are you going to do that? With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. A Bolt 52 does sound kind of cool and useful. What is it? Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. I was starting to get bored listening to you. So you said the phrase, extremely powerful ordinance. It is quite the rush. Wait. My intelligence isn't high enough, but... I'm not great with the English language, but... Isn't an... Isn't ordinance 
usually have to do with like some kind of firepower and ordinance is something else. Eh, whatever. I'll find out what it is when I get it for him. Once you have the bolt fifty two, what are the what are the other part what is the other part of your plan? I'll need to gather some supplemental materials, but I mustn't get ahead of myself. You do tend to do that. The Bolt 52 will be in the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. And these days, it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Um, then I guess I'll go get it for you. Do be careful. I've lost more than a few people to marauders and raptodons out there. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Um, I'm going to ask you some stuff before I go get it, though. What can I do for you? I asked questions about the MSI in the good old days. Then it's good that I keep such meticulous notes. How did MSI get kicked off the board in the first place? I've asked myself the same thing many times, especially seeing as the legal mechanisms we employed were part of the board's own bylaws. Oh, wait a minute. So you initiated your own removal? Not intentionally, though that's technically true. For many years, this planet was home to as many corporations as Terra 2. But back then, it was known as Terra 1. <laughs> what happened to the other corporations? You're the only one here. As you may have noticed, this planet has more than its share of hazards. And as the other corporations began to tally their losses, they decided to pull out. But not you guys. Our leadership at the time certainly wanted to. But there were others of us who saw an opportunity. The chance to improve working hours and conditions, to reform MSI from the ground up. No. No, it's pretty forward thinking of you. It's humane, but it's also good business sense. Exhausted, sick, and malnourished workers are not productive workers. Even a cursory review of the data bears that out. I hope you'd treat them nice, whether it was good business or not, Mr. Sanjar. That's what being a community means. Treating people right, because it's the right thing to do. Word of advice, Sanjar. If Parvati's got something to say, you do well to listen close. Mm-hmm. A noble thought, Miss Holcomb. Unfortunately, noble thoughts rarely sway board policy. Anyway, we learned of a loophole in the corporate bylaws that would allow MSI to claim ownership of the entire planet once the other corporations pulled out, creating the perfect environment for us to enact these new reforms. So basically, there must have been something in there it was like, hey, if all the corporations leave except for you guys, you get the planet, you're the only one there. So yeah, he, they they used a loophole against them. That's pretty cool. That's what I thought. But the senior executives laughed in our faces and insisted we be relocating to Terra 2 along with everyone else. And yet here you are. Yes, some of us stayed behind. And as the most senior executive remaining, I ended up in charge of what was left of MSI. I moved forward with our planned reforms, as well as our strategy to assume ownership of the planet. Yet not long after I renamed it Monarch, the other corporations dislodged us from the board and began an official campaign to paint us as lawless savages. Yeah, that figures. No, I know exactly why they do that. They were afraid of what it was going to become, so they were like, nope, they nope, can't go there anymore. But yeah, that's pretty low. I don't think I realized how far they'd stoop. Everything we did was legal and above board. We followed their rules, and yet they still found reasons to declare us outlaws. Your first mistake was expecting the board to cut you a fair deal. I understand the sentiment, but if we can't rely on some sort of framework, then what do we have? I do think there's something useful in a governing body like the board. Something that keeps us from anarchy, but dearly wish it functioned differently okay yeah what's the hazard clause it's a legal provision that gives the board the authority to cordon off any planet or location that it deems dangerous 
But wait, what happens to the folks stuck on the wrong side of Dangerous? Mm, I'm afraid the welfare of a few hundred people is too minor a figure into the board's risk assessments. And they invoked it on Monarch. Yep. Even though I'm sure this planet is pretty rough, like other planets in this area. They abused it. Yes, making all of MSI criminals in the board's eyes. Rather hard to run a business that way. And who's this Graham guy? You don't seem to think much of him. Although, I think that was the, yeah, that was the guy that broadcast it to the ship earlier, I think. He and his followers call themselves the Iconoclasts. Lawless anarchists, all of them. If anyone on Monarch deserves the reputation the board's pinned on us, it's them. You have strong feelings on the matter, apparently. I'm trying to build something here. They only want to destroy things, and they risk ruining Monarch for all of us. It isn't just that they drain our people and resources. Every radical act they commit cements Halcyon's image of us all as destructive rebels and pushes us further from the rest of the colony. So, what's the downside? Shall I begin with the supply shortages or the subtle but constant threat of annihilation? He's lucky the board doesn't take him seriously enough to keep more than a few UDL gunships patrolling Monarch. An Earth Directorate assault cruiser would change his tune. It's almost a shame we haven't seen one around Monarch in a long while. Why exactly do you want back on the board? I mean, he kind of already explained it. Like, for resources, but... Eh, more information's always nice. Why wouldn't anyone? They own nearly all the resources and infrastructure in Halcyon. Yeah, and once you go back to him, he'll own your dignity, too. To be on the board is to be part of the colonial community. And being cut off means slow strangulation. Yeah, but they've... They, they completely screwed you over with all their stupid rules. Do you... I guess it is, though. I mean, if your town is literally dying, you kind of have... You really don't have a choice. I'm not a man to put pride before progress. If membership on the board can ease our hardships and provide us with opportunities, then that's the path I mean to pursue. Besides, I'm hopeful that additional leverage on our part will allow us a more equitable relationship. Leverage? Don't get ahead of yourself, sir. Yes, yes, it'll be easier to explain once we have the Bolt 52. My hope is to maintain the reforms we've managed here, and who knows? Perhaps once we're restored, we could spread them to other corporations. Uh, talk about what something else. For you? Oh yeah, <laughs> let's talk about Grim. He did a good. Yeah, he did a good job. Let's let, let's put in a good word for him. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? No, he did fine. Just because he might seem uh, maybe that. Uh, no, he did fine. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? be fair, I don't think he gets a lot of practice. All right, how about you? Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest saltuna in Halcyon. What can I do for you today? Ooh, maybe the only producer of saltuna since I might have uh, shut down the cannery um, on the other planet. Hmm. <laughs> But anyway, nothing, not enough about, enough about that. Um, yeah, she was talking about needing more money. What's that about? Or is he not paying you on account of how he tried to fix the thing his own self and busted it even worse and then said you wasn't fixing it fast enough so he's docking your wages again? Not that I got any prior experience with such. Not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on rafted on acid. Why? Are you planning something? Planning a party? Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth, or mantis worm wings. Whatever Sebastian has in stock, really. Okay. Then why are you why are you doing this? So I can talk to him, of course. He doesn't get going about much else. I reckon she's got a little bit of a squish on this fella. 
He's sort of the strong, silent type. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff, and some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. Well, just ask him on a date. I couldn't. What if he says no? Hey, maybe you could ask him for me. I, I mean, a no would still be bad, but it won't be quite as embarrassing if you ask. Oh, Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. Yeah, what, what do you see in him? He doesn't talk much, but he's got this quiet intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Plus, he's got great legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. Yeah, but you really want to be with someone you can't talk to? That does seem like a bad start to a relationship. Like, oh, how did you guys meet? Oh, she was scared to talk to me, so she got someone to ask for her? No. It's a bad start. You think that's what I'm looking for? <laughs> You're funny. And there are other people. Not in Stellar Bay. Everyone else who isn't taken either smells like Saltuna or they're my boss. Besides, a man with a good smile and a proportionate upper to lower body ratio isn't something to pass up. Okay, bye. Sorry, sometimes I get carried away. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? Yep. What did he say? Oh yeah, I mean to ask her about uh, the toss ball poster. You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it, but if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. But... I'll warn you. Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. Oh, understood. I'm going to take care of this right now. I'm going to go talk to this Sebastian guy. That'll probably be the last thing I do for the stream. Yay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Nope, not that one. Where is... Nope, that's for the poster. That's for the Bolt 52. There it is. Oh, he's right over here. I don't want to get too far away because there's no buildings over here. Okay, good. Raft mask and canid eyes right here. Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in raftodon tongue? Or maybe some canid toenails? You look like a man who is looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. What kind of person do you think I have? <laughs> you know what? Yeah, why would I want that? I don't know. Celia usually buys whatever I have, and Mr. Pickett seemed real interested. So I thought maybe I was onto something. Mr. Pickett? Franklin Pickett from Edgewater? That's him. He'd been here years. But he always talked about going back to Edgewater one day. Yeah, Parvati, do you know who this person is that's buying random animal parts from him? Sure. Mr. Pickett used to run the community center outside Edgewater. He had this grand idea to make it a museum for Halcyon life. As my dad told it, Mr. Pickett was always going on about getting a Manta Queen for the last display. He left the Vale, gosh, years ago. He came to Stellar Bay years ago, just before the board cut us off. Ended up stuck here. He was always real interested in our monsters. Manta Queens, especially. Have you seen a Manta Queen? Sure. They're real big. Hard to miss them. Now, uh, where have you seen this? Well, I could send you to the same place I sent Mr. Pickett. But I haven't seen him in a few weeks. To tell true, I'm starting to get a bit worried about him. Captain, can we look for him? I'd feel awful if somebody from home was in trouble and we didn't do nothing. Tell you what. I'll tell you where I sent Mr. Pickett if you promise to look for him. Help him out if he's got himself in trouble. Fair deal? Yeah. Yeah, why not? All right, then. Leave town through the southern gate. The one right here. And head past the abandoned ruins. Last mana queen I saw was in the wilds out that -aways. Could be Mr. Pickett still out there, too. All right. Well, you know what? Let's see what you got. Oh, good. Celia hasn't come by in a few days, so I haven't sold much. Yep, and he's just got animal parts. All right. 
You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. Time to play matchmaker. Huh. I haven't seen her in a few days, but I've been meaning to ask her how that rafted on acid is working out. I hope it's working okay, because no one else really seems interested in this stuff. <laughs> she likes you. Nice of you to say. I like her too. No, I mean she really likes you. And I gotta admire anyone with her passion for canid hides. But you don't have to butter me up. <laughs> I'm gonna call him an idiot. Since you've got so much in common, maybe you should ta uh, let her take you out. Wait, I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount, hmm? Oh, no, that's not it at all. She's smitten with you. He smited her. Smote? Smoot? Don't get me wrong. I'd like to give her a discount. She's a real fine lady. Always talks nice and slow, so I understand. But if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit on account of no one else having any use for rafted on tongues. I'm gonna wow. I'm gonna bribe him to take her out on a date. No, no I'll use my uh, my ability to speak well in the game, not real life. Don't take my word for it. Spend some time with her. I promise she won't ask for a discount. You sound pretty sure. And she is awful nice. Give her a chance. Give yourself a chance. Take her someplace nice. Okay, I'll do it. Once her shift ends, we'll go someplace nice. Maybe to Chef Raymond's. That's the spirit, Sebastian. Be yourself. Between you and me, Captain, I'm not sure Miss Celia knows him too well. But we can hope, right? I want them to be happy. Once again, Parvati, you're proving why you are my favorite companion so far. Oh, in here. Let's give her the good news. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? Uh, he said he'll go on a date with you. Okay, but how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Or like he was just agreeing to it? Was he like, yay, a date with Celia. I've secretly been waiting for this. Or was it more, sure, I don't have anything else going on. Uh... <laughs> he likes you, Celia. Just don't ask him for a discount. Not to worry. If I never buy another Raptodon tongue, it'll be too soon. Ah, look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things to do, and Mr. Nandi's giving me that back-to-work look. Anyhow, thank you. Yeah, matchmaker. Okay. It's been about three hours. I think this has been a, a nice, productive stream. I finished up Rose... Roseway? Was it Roseway? I don't remember the name of the place now. I think it's Roseway. And we're on Monarch now. Uh, next time we'll just spend... I'm assuming, like, you know, the next two or three streams might be here for all I know. Maybe it's a big planet. Yeah, this has been fun. Um, I'm going to... My normal schedule will just be a thing this week, except I'll be playing Outer Worlds, which means Outer Worlds tomorrow at 7. Outer Worlds Friday at 7 and Saturday at 7. And I'll be doing that until I'm done. And I am looking for, I mean, I'm, I love this. I'm liking, I'm liking this so far. I like the game. But I'm also looking forward to getting back to Final Fantasy X and Mass Effect. So either way, I'm having fun. So thank everyone for who uh, stopped by. And M, if you're still there. Well, actually, first, let me save it real quick before I forget. I was going to raid a channel. Why not? Now, do I remember how to do this? Uh, da, 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 da. Slash raid. Don't remember if I do it this way or not. Don't do this very often.
There we go. So yep, yeah, I'm going to have that ready to go, and I'll see everyone later. I'll see them tomorrow at 7. Have a good night.